Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm probably not who you expected to see on the New England Reptile channel today, but uh, I'm who you got. Kevin is unfortunately on the road, and there's something that we wanted to tell you guys about. So, you just get me for the video. I hope you stick around. This is really important. We would appreciate it if you could slam the like button, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think once I start talking about what this video is about, and definitely subscribe to our channel. We're on the road to a million, and we're gonna be there before you guys know it, and I know you wanna be a part of that journey. This video, on the other hand, is something that is a, uh, a bit of an interesting subject. Uh, today, I was scrolling my Facebook, and I saw that my friend Cheyenne posted this picture. And when I saw it, I was like, wow, that is a very, very skinny snake. And then I saw the Vans logo, and I was like, what is going on right now? So I read her post that essentially said, Vans used this ball python for their Diamondback rattlesnake shoe print on one of their new lines of shoes or something along those lines. I mean, A, if you guys are watching this video, you more than likely know that's not a Diamondback rattlesnake, that's a ball python. And B, that snake is incredibly emaciated. Right when I saw that picture, I kind of just instantly went into investigation mode and I wanted to try to find out more if I could. Now, from what I can tell, these pictures, and there is a video as well of this snake slithering around on these shoes or something like that, was up two days ago. So just a couple days ago, I am recording this at 6.32 p.m. on June 18th. So I think the 16th is when this came out. This snake was alive and slithering, slithering on those shoes. A lot of people thought that this was a frozen thawed ball python. Not the case, there was a video of this animal alive. Unfortunately, I cannot find that video. Vans did such a good job of scrubbing the internet of this video once people started commenting and telling them that that snake was absolutely emaciated and that it was completely unhealthy. They did a phenomenal job of scrubbing the internet and taking it all away without making a single post about hey, you know, we're sorry, we didn't realize that this animal was unhealthy, but you've gotta think, this is a huge corporate company with hundreds of people that saw that animal and saw that ad prior to that being posted. I find it incredibly hard to believe that someone did not say something about the way that that animal looked. This is what a normal ball python should look, and then this is what that one looked like. It's not even really close. Now, this is obviously a bumblebee ball python. It doesn't even really have anything to do with a diamond pattern, aside from the fact that you can see its spine and that I guess kind of looks like a triangle, but it's not even remotely close to a diamond pattern. I am actually texting Kevin right now. He's trying to get on, but he's out doing turtle conservation work and we can't get FaceTime to work and he can't upload his little clip that he recorded to my Google Drive uh, because he's out on the power line saving turtles. If I can get him on FaceTime, I will get him on, I promise, and we will talk about it. Um, but like I said, I started doing some research and I wanted to try to figure out, because in the past, Vance has done some things like they made a shoe line that had cats and dogs on it, and a portion of that money went to the ASPCA. And it's not like Vans just doesn't give a shit about animals. I know they do, to an extent, care about animals. My question is, how did this get to this point where Vans posted this and didn't realize that that animal was super unhealthy? So when I posted this online, obviously the Instagram post went crazy. It posted like three hours ago. It's got close to 2,000 likes and like 70 shares on people's stories, but Tristan from Revived Reptiles sent me a screenshot that they had found on Reddit of someone reaching out to the production company that actually made this video, and that production company is Cult Crew. So sev evidently somebody sent Cult Crew an email asking, you know, what the hell are you doing? And here's the response that they got. Uh, they actually did get a response from Cult Crew. By the way, prior to filming this, I did reach out to Vans, Vans Skate, and Cult Crew on Instagram about four hours ago. They all have people actively online right now, but none of them had responded to me, and none of them have even opened the video. So, I did give them a chance to try to say something, but they haven't seen anything yet. This is what they said. Hey Kayla, we appreciate your concern. We created the content and released it through Vans. Everything has been removed from all social channels. The snakes belong to our employees, and we can assure you that they are well taken care of, fed, and hydrated. Yeah, did, do you see the snake? That snake is not well taken care of, fed, or hydrated, so they tried to cover their tracks. Not gonna work with us. The shoot lasted no more than 10 minutes total and we tried to put as little stress on the snake as possible. We now see how bad this looks and removed all snakes from the marketing. Yeah, no sh you guys hid all of the posts before anyone could actually make it blow up. Thank you for the above information. We're sorry and forgetful for what this campaign has caused. We will reach out if the snake is in need of a better home. We appreciate your concern for the well-being of the snakes. So there was no admittance of anything, no, 
hey, you know, I'm sorry we didn't realize that, that snake was super unhealthy, yada yada. I mean, if you're watching this again, like I said in the beginning, you know what a healthy ball python looks like and that is definitely not it. So, what do we want to happen? I guess, what is the, uh, what's the point of us posting this? A, we want an apology from Vans and Cult Crew, I guess, the company, the production company that filmed that video. We would like both of them just to come out and say, sorry, we messed up. We didn't realize that this employee of ours was not taking care of their pet. B, or two, whatever I said, this guy probably shouldn't work for that company anymore. You know, I never really want to advocate for someone losing their job, because I understand people have families, but this person is actively neglecting their animal. That's just not right. Uh, so we would like to see this person booted from Colt Crew, because that's the production company that filmed it, and they said it was one of their employees. And then three, we want to see Vans make a huge donation to US Arc. Vans market cap or total worth is around three billion dollars. So I think we can see a ten thousand dollar at a minimum donation to US Arc. Vans, if you want to do those things, go ahead and do them. Make this right, admit to your wrongdoing, donate some money to the United States Association of Reptile Keepers, fix your mistakes, admit to being wrong. What you guys did is gross, that animal was completely unhealthy, and now I know you know it because you've even gone as far as to hiding Reddit posts, which is pretty crazy. This video is scrubbed from everywhere, guys. Literally, I, I did my best to find it. There's one guy on Facebook that I think has it, but I'm not friends with him, so I can't see it. I'm gonna try to see if I can get him to accept a friend request while I'm editing this video, uh, but obviously, you know, I wanna get this up tonight, so we will do our best up to this point. Thank you guys for watching again, I appreciate it. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. Sorry Kevin couldn't be in this one, but like I said, he's out saving the turtles and doing his awesome stuff. Subscribe if you are new here. You guys are definitely gonna be seeing more of my ugly mug here in the uh, the coming videos, the coming months on our road to a million. So, I hope you like me. Uh, if you don't like me, let me know why. Tell me what the problem is, I'll see if I can fix it. I appreciate you guys. Vans, we really wanna see you do better. We're not out here to tell everyone to stop buying your products forever. Unless you just wanna sit here and ignore this and pretend that it didn't happen, we'll gladly do that. We've got more than a million followers across all of our platforms, and we use it for good. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.